Haunting images from exactly a year ago today when an angry mob stormed the U.S. Capitol in Washington. So far, the Justice Department has made more than 700 arrests. And seven of those people are from right here in Connecticut. Chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell is taking a look at where the suspects are today. Mark and Aaron, some of the people from Connecticut were some of the most visible from that astonishing day, and we set out wanting to get their side of things, wanting to learn what motivated them to take the trip to the nation's capital and then go inside the Capitol building. We wanted to learn how these seemingly regular people got caught up in this herd mentality, and we wanted to see if they had any regrets. Unfortunately, we either weren't able to get in touch with them or they declined to comment. So we're going to start by giving an update on their cases. I'm not doing anything. Oh, you are? I'm just a regular person like everybody else here. It's my building. It's our building. Patrick McCaughey III was the first person from Connecticut to get arrested. McCaughey was caught on video pushing up against Officer Daniel Hodges with a police shield. Once he saw the officer was injured, the FBI affidavit reveals McCaughey tried to get the officer medical attention. You may notice the man believed to be McCaughey pointing at Hodges. The 24-year-old is charged with assaulting an officer and more and is out on bond. No answer at his Ridgefield home this week. Now, McCaughey's case is grouped together with eight other suspects. Jury selection is up next for them. It's going to take place in August. Jesus Christ! We invoke your name! Amen! Amen! See this guy here in the red MAGA hat next to the QAnon shaman? That's Richard Crosby Jr. The 26-year-old from Harwinton signed an affidavit admitting he made his way inside the chamber that day. Crosby was part of some of the more notorious scenes from that day. You saw him take part in that prayer. Crosby told the FBI he went to the Capitol because he felt the election was stolen and he wanted his voice heard. He says he was in the Capitol for 20 minutes, in the chamber for six to eight minutes, and did not get violent with officers. He's charged with obstruction of justice, disorderly conduct, and more. Crosby is free on personal recognizance. Mr. Crosby, how are you? Matt with Channel 3. We spoke with his brother yesterday who said Richard was at work and likely did not want to take part in our report. Crosby has a status hearing next month. One of the more recent arrests was made in November. This is 24-year-old Jeremy Bausch. At the time, he was a submarine engineer for electric boat and had secret security clearances. The FBI received multiple tips and found Bausch used a work computer to search things like the U.S. Capitol building layout guns, rifle scopes, lasers, and Trump protests. The affidavit shows Bausch was inside the Capitol for 15 minutes, leading chants of whose house, our house, into the megaphone that he's holding. He's charged with entering restricted grounds and more. Yeah, no, he no longer lives here. Oh. We learned Bausch no longer lives at this Norwich home. We also learned as part of his bond, he can't go to D.C., he can't own guns, and must notify the Department of Justice anytime he leaves Connecticut. A mother and daughter from Canterbury were also arrested. Here's the photos Carla Quizricki posted of her and her mother, Jean Lavin, in and outside the U.S. Capitol. The now-deleted post reads, this is history. We do not go burning down your city and stealing from your business. We come for the government officials ruining our country. We go straight to the source. Change needs to happen. This is our house and you work for us. The FBI investigated and found these images showing the mother and daughter climbing a bike rack and entering the Capitol with multiple photos of them inside. According to the affidavit, the two were in the Capitol for 50 minutes total and were there to just look around. We went to their Canterbury home this week where a private property sign was displayed. A woman driving to the home told us go away. to go away. Two other Connecticut residents were arrested. Victoria Burgesson and Mauricio Mendez, both from Groton, are accused of violating the curfew and being on Capitol grounds as opposed to actually going inside. A status hearing for Burgesson is set for later this month. The Justice Department has made 737 arrests so far, and the call is still going out to find others who were there that day. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.